clever, clever deal. Now that's the left hand side and it's marked with an L so I don't have to worry about getting that mixed up. And this copying lever comes out the back end. There's the, that's the left hand spring. Now, it, it may go in the other side, but I'll just I'll put a little mark on the end, just in case it won't go in the other side. So. And out comes a cocking lever, which is, shouldn't we? you can't get these mixed up because they have a pin on the inside. Now, the next thing to take out is the safety because the safety is meshed up with the, with the levers at work and with it, if I don't take that out I shan't be able to get the lever work out. So, there's a little nut on the end, there's a the little nut here that holds the safe thumb piece to the safety slide underneath the top strap. Now I'll go take that out and put the this little nut back on now. And there's the safety slide. Now there's a little there's a little safety spring here very much like the sugar tongue clip spring in the old old four ends. It is a similar shape. I'll take that out. It's only a little a little spring. Just held with one screw. That's the that's the safety spring taken out. Now the next move is you can is to take the lever, top lever spring out. Now you can do that by or using that little tool I've got by pushing the lever over, putting that little tool on there to hold it, lift the back end of the, the spring up and then just you just slide it out. There we go. Get the top lever spring out. Now with all that out I can now take the top lever and the spindle and the underbolt out. Now, Like, like the box, like the top lever pin, you can't mix it up with anything else. It just won't fit anything else. Next thing is to knock, to knock out the, knock out the spindle from the top lever. Okay, so you just put a drift in there or punch whatever. Old age, I guess. And there we have the top lever, the spindle, and then you can slide out the underbolt. 
nào that's been repaired that's been welded the uh, now this top lever system in this one is called the Scott system. Now, that's the, the underbolt. That is the Scott spindle. And that is the Scott lever. Now, it, it, it is about the best type of lever work system in the in use today. Now, Purdy's use it, Holland and Holland's use it, Bosses use it, all the best gun makers use it, and the Italians use it, the Spanish use it, everybody uses, just about uses the the, the Scott system. Now, the, the Germans use, are very fond of the of the uh, Greener system. But this is this is about the best. Now you see the, the underbolt it, the just the underbolt, the idea of an underbolt was invented by Purdy. And before Mr. Scott came along and invented the spindle to operate to operate the under the, the underbolt, there was all kinds of ways of moving the, the underbolt. There was levers at the side, levers underneath, all kinds of things. But when Scott invented the spindle, I mean, then they could use a top lever, and it's still the best system even today. So that's your Scott lever system. This gun has a ex little extension on the, uh, on the barrels, and, but this extension doesn't do much work. It's just a backup in case the bottom, the bottom bite on the lump should fail. Now, so it's, this is the, the, the underbolt does the work and this is, this bite here is the one that does all the work. The front one is just a guide for it. Now, there we are, we've got everything out of there except the firing pins. Now the firing pins or strikers, whichever way you want to call them, they just, they are retained by a little tiny screw at the so each side. Well there's a little pin I should say, I'm, I'm getting all Americanized, I'm calling them screws. Okay, a little, little small pin here holding this firing pin in. I'll take this one out on this side. The, I'll leave the other one in on the other side. The, the, uh, they're both the same, held in the same way. 